Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Right, yeah, go ahead. I'm Mark Nelson, and uh, these are my Come duo on. to make the trio for the compadres. Yes. Well, I fell in love with a girl called Suze who fell for another. Now I got the blues. Oh, hey, hey. God just ain't treating me right. I'm a guitar man and I play the side chords. I'm no mystery shopper in the eyes of the Lord But hey, God just ain't treating me right I learned how to play guitar when I was about 13 Principally I'm a, a songwriter first and foremost And um, I wanted to play an instrument to support the songwriting And I wanted to play guitar So I eventually found a way of playing the guitar one-handed When I was 13 by using my thumb to play a string I'm doing a virtual guitar here uh, play the strings and, and hold down with my fingers. And uh, everyone asked me, is it a, in a special tuning? And it's actually in normal tuning, and it's a right-handed guitar, but I play it left-handed. So it's complicated. a bit complicated, You just ain't treating me right. This trio, uh, writing songs for the trio, I mean, there's a lot of blues in there. It's not all blues. Sort of blues and pop. So I'd have to say, um, some, you know, Mississippi Delta Blues from Robert Johnson, um, people like Hendrix, people like Peter Green, a great guitarist, a blues guitarist. Um, so all sorts of 60s bands and a variety of different blues styles as well. But it's quite a sort of modern take on the blues, isn't it? It's quite a fresh sounding, quite energetic feel that we try and get with the trio, really. So although it's blues influence, it's. Uh, it's quite a sort of a modern take on it. sort of pop songs, some are ballads and some are more sort of rocky or upbeat kind of blues stuff. So we like to mix and match it a bit to entertain the audiences. I used to love you from a heart This when the pain inside my brain began to start I was a wild man in a rage Instead of loving me babe you locked me in a cage I'm gonna kick down that door Get back on the road again. When we do like the summertime, there's a load of festivals going on. Balls Bridge in the year was a good one, and Pusey. Maltings. Maltings, the Maltings good. as well. But it's really any, anything where the, the audience are up for it. So if you get a decent audience, they get into the music, and we get into that, and we play better, and it just sort of snowballs on from that, really, I think. to every single song that Mark does. I mean, I don't think I've ever played it ever the same twice. So um, uh, Mark will come up with uh, uh, songs that he's written. He'll ask me if I can play it and I'll just say yes, really. <laughs> Very nice of you. <laughs> Out of the Blues, yes. Recorded in one day in Paul's studio. 
and then uh, we mixed and mastered it uh, over at my studio and we released it last December and there's pictures of us on the back and there's pictures of us on the back yeah, and Mark had a load of his own stuff he's done a number of solo CDs himself but people were asking for something that represented the trio really so it was pretty much done as a live recording breathe on Mark's always writing new songs, so we, we got together for a rehearsal a couple of months ago and we had like 11 new songs to, to learn, so there's plenty more in the pipeline, so it's almost definite we'll do another CD at some point. I think it's time for a new one, last one. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You cheated on him, which means that you cheated on me. So there's no point in going on, baby. It's the end. As far as I can see But you've got what it takes Yes, you've got what it takes To breathe To breathe You've got what it takes Yes, you've got what it takes To breathe To breathe To breathe, breathe. Yeah So breathe out. Ah!